Hey, how's it going guys? I'm EC from ECTV and today I'm going to be making a brand new video. Before I do that though, I'm just going to go through a quick little summary of why I've been gone for the past month or so. If you don't really care or you don't know what I'm talking about, then you can just click the annotation on the screen and be taken to the main topic of this video. So anyways, I got this comment on my last YouTube video where basically Duty Card 3 Modders asked me this question, and that is, can you do a Modern House tutorial? I at first thought I could do it, but then I realized that my primary game recorder didn't record Minecraft, and the one that I did use to record Minecraft failed to produce decent footage this time around, so I spent like a month looking for a good game recorder. But none of them seemed to actually work, which is a major buzzkill, so I kinda can't do the Modern House tutorial until I find a suitable recorder for Minecraft. But then again, I will be uploading different content until I can get a good recorder for Minecraft again. Don't worry though, Dirty Card 3 Modders, I will be doing the tutorial once I can record Minecraft again, but until then, it will have to be postponed. Alright, so now it's time for my thoughts on the whole fidget spinner trend. So personally, I can see why some people don't like fidget spinners. They can be loud as well as distracting sometimes, people get too used to seeing fidget spinners around and just don't find them interesting anymore, and also maybe the fact that popular kid YouTubers that are oftentimes seen as cringy, such as Dove, make multiple videos on fidgets. Despite all this, however, I kind of personally like the fidget spinner trend. A toy that was originally made for kids with autism and ADHD is now a popular thing, and because of this, most kids with autism and ADHD can now feel like they fit in with the rest of the kids when they previously didn't before. That right there to me is amazing how kids who can sometimes feel so left out are now feeling like they fit in due to a common practice that they share. Not only that, but customizing fidget spinners is quite fun and people have modified or have straight up bought fidget spinners that have fancy patterns that light up, that have been shaped in an interesting way, etc. There's pretty much nothing that a human likes more than to customize everything to their own liking. Whether it's a CSGO weapon, a real life weapon, a version of Windows, and of course not to mention a fidget spinner. I feel like fidget spinners are a great way to relieve boredom or stress and to make new friends at school, work, or wherever. I'm not saying that you should like fidgets, but what I am saying is that I personally have a positive outlook on the trend overall. Again, I can understand why people don't like them. But I in fact do like them, and I feel that it might be one of the trends that the mid to late 2010s is known for. If you want to comment on why you don't like fidget spinners or more reasons on why you do like fidgets, then I'll be happy to read your opinion and hopefully we can strike up an organized debate in the comments section. But then again, I wouldn't really count on it since this is the YouTube comment section and there's probably somebody out there typing right now, Oh, kill yourself, you 10-year-old who's trying to be edgy. I disliked all of your videos. And by the way, you're fat. So anyways, guys, I just thought that I'd pretty much make a random video just to show people that I am, in fact, not dead. And that I, too, have hopped on the fidget spinner bandwagon. So yeah, that's, that's, that's just great. But in all honesty, I just felt like making a video on fidgets, and so I did. So anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and suggest. And until next time, I'm EC from ECTV, out. And peace.